This royal decree placed Esther in a difficult position. She could continue to keep her identity hidden and live in luxury as queen, or she could utilize the full influence of her position by sharing the plight of her people. Up to this point in Persia, the queen's role had been primarily ornamental. Esther was responsible for pleasing the king and bearing heirs. By going before the ruler and representing the struggles of the Jews, she would not just be jeopardizing her position as queen, but also her life. Esther ultimately decided that she had a duty to come forward and plead the case of her people. She understood that as a leader, she was the only one who could effectively plead their case. Before going to the king, she sent Mordecai to instruct the people to fast and pray on her behalf, as recorded in the book of Esther, chapter 4, verse 16. Go, gather together all the Jews that are present in Shushan, and fast ye for me, and neither eat nor drink three days, night or day. I also and my maidens will fast likewise, and so will I go in unto the king, which is not according to the law. And if I perish, I perish. 